There's no question that YouTube can be a great learning tool in your classroom. The problem is when you're using YouTube on the actual YouTube page, there's so much distraction on the page to uh, take kids' attention away from what you want them to be looking at. For example, here's a great video on a volcanic eruption in Papua New Guinea. Uh, it was very short. You could illustrate a point with it. However, once you open up the YouTube page, look at all of the distraction on the page. First of all, you've got all these suggested videos over here on the right-hand side. Um, insane car race ca crash. That's not exactly what you want kids looking at. You've also got a lot of comments down here. You don't have any control. You don't know what's there. Uh, just as you least expect that something pops up that you don't want. So what can you do about that? Well, we've got a great little tool for you that you can use on the internet that will get rid of all of these things around the edge of the video and let kids just concentrate. Oh, and by the way, we can also get rid of all these little pop-up ads that are going to show up at inopportune moments as you're trying to show a video to your class. So here's how it works. First thing you need to do is let's go up and copy the URL of that video in YouTube. So you find the video in YouTube, go up to the address bar, copy that URL. And then we're going to go back to safeshare.tv. You can see that URL here. And they've got the simplest of interfaces for you. All you need to do is in this box in the middle of the page, we are going to paste that URL and generate a safe link. And there you go. We click here. And now when I show this video, all I see is the video in a nice size in the middle of the window. And uh, it's it'll start playing and you are good to go with this video. So that works great in a classroom, but what happens if we want to do the same thing in our Moodle site? Well, it's pretty simple. We can uh, grab this uh, URL of this video and link it from a Moodle page. So let's do that right now. I'm going to come up to the SafeShare uh, URL that it created for my SafeShare video and I'm going to copy that so it's ready for Moodle. Now let's slide over to our Moodle page, and I've started a page here. This is a Moodle resource, and it's the page resource, which is pretty much a free-form page that you can uh, put anything you want to in. So I've started it with a little description of the, what the volcano can do, and I've got the watch this video of a, of a volcano eruption in Papua New Guinea. So I'm going to highlight that text right there, and I'm going to make that link to the video. Let's try that again. I'll hit the right button. So we'll click there. And under the link URL, I'm just going to paste in that safe share TV video I link that I just copied. And then I always like to open it up in a new blank window just so that my Moodle page is always sitting there when they close. I'm going to insert that. That's pretty much it. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, click and save and display this. So looking at that finished page, you can see that I've got my link, which I'll click, opens up in a new tab. There's the video, uh, all the distractions removed, and I as a student can watch this. When I'm done, I close the tab. I'm back in the Moodle page, ready to keep working in my course. So Safe Share TV, it's a great tool. Every teacher should be using it uh, to remove those digital distractions that uh, you don't need in your classroom. Hope you enjoy using SafeShare.tv.